Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obda Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out Node Lord, which is an automation base building style game uh, with a few really interesting twists. So let's jump into story mode. It doesn't particularly matter uh, which game mode we play on, uh, but for now we'll play on story. So we've got our objectives up in the top left hand corner. There's a little bit of lore. Technically, we are dwarves that have uh, emerged from this uh, from this hole, and uh, we have been kicked out, and we're supposed to sort of survive uh, above ground, which is kind of uh, unusual. Now, in order to do that, we've got a couple of little uh, tools and resources at our disposal. Uh, we've got our building materials up here. Wood, planks, stone, clay, iron, and troll corpses. And then we've also got all of the different things that our dwarves need to survive and thrive. And then we've got a little satisfaction indicator uh, over on the right-hand side over here. We've got a little dwarf counter uh, down uh, down in the bottom right, and in order to increase that, we're going to start the process of building a house. This is the most basic and important building block of any sort of society, and there's a couple of things that I want to chat about uh, immediately with regards to this house. We can see that it's level one. There's 25 out of 25 dwarves. There's Their needs are 0% fulfilled, and production is at one unit per second. What does that all mean? I'll tell you, the first house that we build comes with 25 dwarves already in existence. If I build a second house here, which I'm going to do, there is nothing, there is nothing in it. Now, in order to, uh, in order to uh, transfer resources around and to get this house up and running, uh, we can have... Uh, we can set uh, a dwarven output here to a dwarven input over there. There is inputs there is outputs on every single building. Now, when this house gets charged up, as you can see, our clan is going to increase. Uh, we are going to start to see production increase to a rate of one unit per second. That one unit is, of course, referring to energy, and energy is the, the most important building block uh, for any sort of society. So, Anyway, after that, uh, we can probably think about getting some additional resources from the world. Uh, the reason that I'm perhaps rushing a little bit, by the way, is because there are these little pips on uh, this sort of like time bar up at the top here. Uh, this is a, this is a bit of a time limit. Uh, this is when the enemies are going to start attacking us. We have got these resources that we need to try and collect. We'll do that. Let's not worry about that. Let's just worry about getting a little bit of infrastructure set up so that we can defend ourselves. The point is, is that we are getting a whole bunch of dwarves into this new house, which is great. Uh, that that means that we're slowly but surely going to start getting a little bit of additional energy. Okay, cool. Uh, we've already used a little bit of wood in order to build these houses. Let's see if we can try and replenish our wood in any meaningful sense. The way that we do that is very, very simple. Uh, we connect up, uh, we connect up the wood, the wood outputs, and then we connect up energy and boom as long as we are able to have energy then we are going to be able to replenish our wood and that should be done uh pretty pretty darn swiftly if i do indeed say so myself and as soon as this house gets fully electrified then that will be great it's worth noting that we need to have energy in the storage before the wood is sent from the node that is very very important indeed okay so this is all looking good so far, uh, so good. Uh, we are going to be attacked at different intervals by trolls. Hopefully, we'll be able to harvest their corpses. Indeed, that's uh, part of the part of the objective here. Uh, how do we defend against them? I'll tell you. It is with this building. Uh, it is with this tower. Now, I would quite like to build the tower, ideally, yeah, in this location over here. I think because. We want to make sure we want to make sure that the tower is able to defend as many buildings as we possibly can. Uh, the really really interesting thing about this game is that at the moment there is nothing. There's nothing in the tower. Um, it's it's got no energy. It's got no ammo. It's got no no nothing. Uh, what I'm going to do very specifically is link up this house to the tower. Now we need to make sure that we don't link up too many energy uh, demanders uh, to. Uh, the same house. Now we can theoretically link up as many, as many different sources of, uh, of energy tubes. We can link up as many sources as we want, but ideally we want to try and keep it like fairly limited on each house so that we don't have too many resources coming in and uh, causing a causing a bunch of a bunch of hassle. How are we doing? This house is almost up to full. To full, uh, to full complement. That is great. That's really, really good. Anyway, uh, let's chat about ammunition now. Pretty much anything in this game can be used as ammunition. And if I take a little look at the diary very, very quickly, one of the fantastic, really, really interesting things about this game uh, is that as you go, uh, we can actually determine, um, we can actually determine different, uh, different resources that we can craft and that we can mine just 
just basically uh, from the world, uh, and they will do different amounts of damage. They have different ranges, and they have different effects uh, from one another. So, for example, we can see that stone. We start with 100 stone, and that's going to be our most basic ammunition type. Uh, it's going to do six damage to the trolls when they come, 20% chance to stun, and it's got a, you know, a pretty decent range of 60. So what we can do is we can actually click on this button over here. This is the storage button, and it allows us to build a, it allows us to build storage uh, already filled with, uh, with stones. Now, there is a, there is a global storage system in this game, uh, which I think is, which I think is really, really good. Let's go over here. There we go. We'll drag a little a little road around there. And then we'll make sure that you are linked up to an energy system over yonder, which is great. And that should theoretically mean uh, that we are able to... Yep, fantastic. We're able to see these towers' ranges. And uh, we're able to store up to three stones in this slot here. It's not ideal that we can only store three stones, but that's kind of fine. Anyway, that's the basics. Uh, that's the basics of the game. We are going to be doing so much more in order to try and facilitate uh, additional stuff. First things first, let's see if we can try and get some rock replenished here. That seems pretty darn important, doesn't it? That seems pretty darn important. Yeah, look at this. See, we have a little bit of a problem. So, as you can see, this, um, we really should be getting additional, we should be getting additional rock, but we're not getting additional rock because all of our, all of our production is going into, is going into wood. So, uh, in order to rectify that, we've got a couple of different options. Uh, one of the most important things that we can possibly do is start, is start satisfying our needs. So, if I get this over here, another storage facility, yep. Uh, you'll see, by the way, why I'm, building stuff where I'm building it in just a second and then we'll get the output we could build a big long big long node all the way over there and it's going to take a little while for uh for all of the energy to come down here but the point is is that we will start getting a little bit of water and that is great takes a long time for the for the resources to get there but that's fine uh we should start the process of satisfying of satisfying our needs. Now, I don't think that we're quite there. Um, we are partially satisfying the water needs, but the point of the matter is, is that we've actually increased our production percentage by 15%. So our energy production has increased by 15%, so 1.15 per second, uh, because we have satisfied those needs. And once the water need is fully satisfied, then we need to satisfy the food need, then we need to satisfy the beer need. So it becomes progressively harder for, uh, for us to do that. Now, we are technically under attack at the moment. Uh, what have we got up here? We've got three enemy trolls that are going to come down. Now, these trolls are... They're pretty crafty. They really, really are pretty crafty. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upgrade this facility. Uh, I can't upgrade both. I'm going to only be able to upgrade one. This might be a little bit irritating. We might sustain a little bit of damage here, but it's, it's fine, honestly. I'm not too worried, uh, all things considered. How are we doing water-wise? Yeah, so we've actually completely satisfied the water need, and we need to try and satisfy the food need. We're getting a 16-17% production increase. That is really, really nice, so that means that we're just going to be that little bit more efficient, which is hopefully going to help us. Now, let's get... Let's get this... Let's get this dispensed with... See, these trolls are really, really clever. They walk all the way around. They walk all the way around the, uh, the effect of the tower, which... Honestly, I feel like is is far too is far too clever of them. Uh, but the point is, is that we've only got up to three. There we go. We've only got up to three stones at a time. So that's a little bit annoying that we that we kind of have to deal with that. Uh, it should be noted, by the way, that if the trolls decide to attack a house, then the dwarves will throw their bodies against the trolls. Slightly less damaging, um, you know, slightly smaller range, but they will do that nonetheless, which is which is fine, uh, which is great. Anyway, uh, the fact of the matter is, is that we need to try and do so much more. I've been talking too much, and uh, yeah, look at this. We got four. We got four enemies here. Right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna increase. We're gonna increase. We're gonna upgrade one of our one of our towers. That's great. And you know what? Let's. Let's add dwarves to the output. Why the heck not? So this is going to give us six ammunition, which honestly, all things considered, is not too bad. Uh, hopefully, we will be able to replenish a few additional dwarves, which is great. And then we're just going to see them probably die, but that's that's okay. Uh, let's also upgrade you, and let's get you over to here. And we will add that as a second ammunition type for the tower. There's also a base sort of increase 
in the uh, in the range anyway, just because we've got the tower upgraded. I think that that's completely fine. Now we've actually hit our target of gathering of gathering uh, woods. We need to we need to work on planks. We need to work on a lot more, but that's okay. Also, what's in the mysterious box? Nothing. Well, okay, that's fine. Either way, we can we can deal with that. Right, we've got three stones. We've got three dwarves. There we go. Brilliant. Brilliant. Nice. And the stones. Oh, that was a fantastic little stun effect there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. And really, really nicely repelled. That is pretty excellent. Okay, we need to gather a whole bunch of additional stone. I'm going to try and do that. I think the best way that we probably want to go about solving our problems at the moment is by getting an additional house. Yeah, we need to be so, so careful. Right, I'll create a little, I'll create a little, uh, a little journey for these dwarves to go on. We're gonna need to replenish all of the dwarves that we currently have over here, but that's that's fine. We can we can do that with relative ease. Uh, I'm also gonna get another resource storage bin, but I'm maybe gonna wait until the enemies have uh, subsided a little bit. Alternatively, maybe an additional tower. Would that be the worst idea in the world? I, I, I kind of don't want to give the I kind of don't want to give the trolls the uh, the extra target quite yet, um, just because it's a bit dangerous. Uh, we can also build walls. I mean, I can build walls, and I I, I, I guess I, I guess I should maybe, but I I really don't consider them to be too effective at all. The trolls are oddly intelligent, um, which you know they don't react in the way that. You, you would think that they can be uh, controlled. It Yeah, it's a little it's a little strange. It's a little strange. You see, they just kind of like, they go on their own little, they go on their own little journeys. They don't come straight down. They, they... Yeah, too close to the enemy units there. So look at that. They're going to go, they're going to go around, which is unbelievably annoying, I must say. There we go. Yeah, see, look at this. Look at these, look at these jerks, honestly. Okay. I mean, all things considered, we should be fine. I don't think we'll have too many issues repelling them. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, we can also repair buildings. We can get uh, we can get houses upgraded. I am going to upgrade houses. Uh, we're a little bit low on planks. Now, planks are made in a workshop. It's fairly simple. Uh, all of the recipes, by the way, are in here. So we can see if we have... Uh, well, in fact, I'll tell you what. Why don't I build the workshop in the first instance? Build the workshop in the first instance. Build it over here. We have wood input, wood input, we have the two wood inputs, and that gives us a plank as the output, and we don't even need to put down a storage, it'll just, it just, it just happens. There we go, get that over there, brilliant, excellent, and that will give us, hopefully, some planks, excellent, that gave us six planks, perfect. So that's kind of how it happens. Uh, do I want to get an additional tower? I would kind of like to get an additional tower. Let's do that. And I'd really like to get some additional stone. Already you can start to see perhaps where the flaws in the process are going to start showing themselves, right? Because we have, we have like real areas of weakness. And if the dwarves decide to walk around, uh, the dwarves, if, uh, you know, if they decide to walk around here, we're perhaps going to be in a little bit of trouble. So let's see if we can try and block this area off the best that we possibly can. Either way, that's going to give us a really, really decent amount of planks. Uh, this house is almost completely filled, so let's see if we can start the process of getting this set up. Uh, look at that. That's looking. That's looking. That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Couple of different things that we can do as well. Uh, we can upgrade the storage facility if we want to. We can also upgrade the roads that are between the different areas here, uh, which is a really, really great way of increasing. Let's uh, upgrade you as well. Uh, yeah, really, really great way of increasing the uh, the production levels, which uh, which is fine. Let's let's block this off again. I want to do I want to do more. I mean, it just cost us wood in order to build these walls, so you know, let's do it. Sure, and we could also probably get an upgrade over here if we want to. Sure. 
Can I set wood as an output? I could set wood as an output, but I don't think I really want to do that. You know what? Set that over there. Set dwarves as the output. I think I, I actually like dwarves as the output. We've kind of dropped below all of the sort of requirements that we need. Uh, so on that basis, we may fail the level. But if we do that, then that's, you know, that, that just kind of is what it is. Uh, also, I'm probably, yeah, certain that we're not fulfilling the water requirements. There we go. Okay. So we have got... Uh, some minor issues, but honestly, like, nothing too crazy. The towers are, are going at it. See, look at this. Look at, look at you. You're just attacking over here. That's fine. And as soon as the stones are replenished, we should be sorted. Excellent. Uh, there is, like, another wave coming in right now, and there's another wave coming in immediately after that get that repaired. Sir, I have this strange feeling in my head and excitement. Do you have an idea? Right here. What if before we plant the wooden stakes in the ground, we sharpen them so the trolls impale themselves? You sick genius, that's a very good idea. Okay, um, nice. I mean, I'm very, very keen to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we're never in a million years going to satisfy any of our requirements, but that's okay. Nice. Good stuff. Replenish the stone. I could link that up there. I don't think that's going to make much of a difference, but we can try. You can see they've they've kind of they've kind of clocked that this area is pretty undefended, relatively speaking. Yeah, I mean, you're going to move across a little bit, but honestly, not a bad, not a bad defense as far as I'm concerned. This tower is doing a power of work. This is, this is making things look easy. But having played this game for quite a while, I can tell you that uh, this game is really far from it. The, the trolls really do like, uh, they do like to go in very, very odd, peculiar ways. Okay. And they're just all sort of paused here. I mean, that's, that's kind of nice. Hey, look, uh, I'm going to throw in time acceleration. It doesn't look like they're going to get through anytime soon. And honestly, uh, we will probably be fine there. What I am worried about, though, is that we're not actually going to satisfy a single goal. Oh, no, sorry. We'll get the, we'll get the plank goal. You're just chilling out over there. What are we doing over here? Walls. Oh, yeah. Spike walls. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got that. We got that intel. Okay, uh, if the game doesn't want to end whilst we're waiting for that, then that's then that's okay. Let's see if we can try and get some additional stuff set up. Let's get you over here. Let's get this into there. Let's get this into there. Again, we need to be very, very careful that we just do not end up uh, over sort of subscribing any specific house with regards to energy sources. That That is like a really, really... Really poor way of, of sorting it out. Uh, the other thing is that we can have two inputs, right? We can have two two roads coming uh, coming into a single input, uh, but that really won't make that really won't make any difference because it's the energy that determines the uh, the production rate. That is that is really what matters. Uh, we can in fact upgrade the roads though, because as I say, that increases the speed that they that they travel along. Also, if you're just going to continue to get stuck there. That makes me very, very happy indeed because it allows me to show off a few uh, a few additional features in the game. Okay, we've got iron ore over here. We've got some wild chickens. We've got some wheat fields. Uh, what I really need, what I really need is coal. I really, really need coal in order for, in order for this to work. What's in the mysterious box? It's some clay. Lovely. Anything else? Any any other mysterious boxes that are just chilling around? Sure is. A little bit of stone. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so coal is a requirement. Coal is a requirement when we're making uh when we're making iron. Uh believe it or not, we might actually hit that stone objective now. If I put down a furnace over here, uh coal we can get we can get coal from wood, although ooh. Another one of those. Excellent. Uh although we might as well just literally grab the Grab the coal, grab the coal roots, and we can, should be able to put it into here, right? We might need to put it into, um, we might need to put it into a storage in the first instance, but that's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm going to handle you, but I think that I can actually cheese you to make, uh, 
to make a bit of a better setup. There we go. That goes in there. Nice. Uh, should I get an additional house down here? I sure can. Dwarves. Excellent. Power that. Power that for now. And then we can get iron. Will iron go straight to the input? It needs to go through storage in the first place. That's fine. There we go. And that's going to get us some... That's going to get us some iron, which is really, really nice. Uh, so we're working on planks. We're working on... We should be working... We should be working on everything. Eventually, eventually everything should work here. Eventually everything should work. How much would it cost to upgrade this... This big line? 71... 71 clay. So that's really the requirement for clay, uh, by the way. Which... Which is a little bit, uh, a little bit convoluted, but that's fine. Oh yeah, we need energy into the uh, into the furnace as well. Yeah, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it, which is quite nice. And that's going to get us iron. That's going to get us coal. That's going to get us stone. That's going to get us pretty much. That's going to get us pretty much everything. Uh, I feel like I have maybe slightly taken advantage of the game. Um, and actually, we might have an issue because yeah, it's too close to enemy units. How do I? How do I activate you? How do I activate you to try and get unstuck from there? I suppose we could always increase the range of the tower again. I could upgrade you. I could upgrade you quite easily, actually. I'd quite like to get a little bit more stone before we do that. Uh, and also gather all of the, uh, the iron that is required. Um, and I have been given extra time to do this for some obscene reason, but it's great because it makes up for the time that I spent at the start of the, uh, at the start of the episode explaining things. Um, the only other thing that we haven't actually built is the field. Um, I'll display that right now, actually. So, um, fruit we can gather from a tree. We can get a field right over here. Uh, we can throw that into there and that just literally gives us... That just literally gives us free apples and free food. Now, part of the problem is that we don't actually have uh, enough water coming in at the moment. So, uh, one of the needs, water, is partially satisfied. So, even if we have food, it's it's not actually, you know, like, properly useful. So, what I think we could do is maybe get an upgrade over here. Can't actually get an upgrade because we need to get clay in the first instance. There we go. Get clay and then pop an upgrade down here. And that will hopefully mean that we just get slightly faster transiting of resources. Can we upgrade again? I'll upgrade again. So we've now got like a stone, a stone, uh, a stone conduit here, which means that we're going to have way, 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 way more water. And I think that we're going to manage to satisfy it. Don't quote me on it, but I think we're going to manage. I think we are going to manage. Okay, we have managed to satisfy all of the requirements for absolutely everything. Uh, we just need to deal with this individual somehow. Uh, and I'm not quite sure that we're going to manage to do that. There we go. Good. One of the needs, beer, has not been satisfied. So we actually immediately fully satisfied the food production. And you can actually see that needs are now giving us a plus 33% uh, production level. Which is really, really great. That is that is so fantastic. Uh, that is really, really, really good. Uh, in fact, you know what? Give me an upgrade on this. Give me an upgrade on that storage. That's going to give us even more, even more faster water production, uh, which should, which should mean that we're absolutely fine. Right, if I build a house over here, will that bait you out? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, why don't we experiment making some additional ammo types? That seems like a pretty good idea. Um, so ammo types, we can have a little look in here. Uh, hammers... Hammers are pretty decent. Hammers are just stone and wood into a workshop, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but what about if we try for some other recipes? We'll get planks and planks and iron. What's that going to make? What are planks and iron going to make in uh, in concert? We won't know until it's actually delivered to the to the facility. Or do I need to get a storage place in in first? I might need to get a storage bin in first. Hold on. Can I squeeze this in here? Okay. And planks. I can squeeze that in there. I can squeeze it in there, though. That's quite nice. Okay. Does that uh, does that work? Again, this house is... 
This house is dealing with quite a lot right now. Let's uh, let's maybe see if we can try and upgrade the house. That's going to give us even higher levels of production, which is really, really nice. Brilliant. Dispatch. Dispatch some iron to the, to the workshop. I can't believe that iron and planks don't equal anything. Oh, we've got, we need to connect up the, we need to connect up the, uh, the storage facility. Yeah. Will that make any, will that make anything? Doesn't really look like it, does it? Really, really doesn't look like it. Okay, ditch, ditch that. Get, get that as an output. See if that makes anything for us. Beautiful. It is making something. What is it going to make? Aha! Okay. We've got a club. What does a club do? Workshop. Uh, iron plus wood gives us three clubs. Okay. Well, let's drag that and stick that in the output over there. And let's see. Let's see what that gives us. The clubs look... Actually, the range is pretty, pretty amazing there, to be honest. And in fact, it looks like we might even be able to hit that chump. Um... I have a little look here. Clubs. Oh, clubs. It's not registering yet, I guess, because we've not fired. But if I if I upgrade you... There we go. Look at that. Look at that. We did it. I cannot believe it. We actually managed to cheese that one. That is that is pretty... <laughs> that is pretty fantastic. Um, but there we go. That's pretty much... That's pretty much a, an example of, uh, of what's going on. Now, this is the... This is the sort of story mode, though. Sort of taking us through a different... A couple of different things. Um, we can... We can choose to... We can choose to make a make an offering, uh, and indeed we are moving on, and we can see that we've got a little. Yeah, we need to set up a temporary camp. Uh, hey, I don't particularly need to to look at this. Instead, I'd like to look at endless mode, which is maybe not necessarily how the game is supposed to be played, but it's definitely one of the things that I'm more interested in. Again, um, we kind of need to note how under pressure I am, and maybe just <laughs> maybe give me give me a little bit of a break for for perhaps not making the most optimum looking. Uh, set up, but we start in this world over here. Let's build that over there. I'll cover up the tree. No issues whatsoever uh, Let's get that get this Get this nice. We'll start getting getting some wood pretty much immediately uh, We'll set up some towers for defense Again the enemy are crafty very very crafty indeed, so we need to be very very careful about where we build let's go to there Go there, there, there. I think maybe it's best to have like one house primarily dedicated to, you know, the energy needs of, of pretty much everyone. Uh, of course, I'm actually going to have to link up all of the other houses to, uh, to the main house because we don't actually have enough dwarves in this house to give us to give us what we need. Right. Let's get stone on the go. Brilliant. Uh, now we are in this kind of like oasis place, which is really nice, uh, but it's also like not a like not a very good place to get uh, to get rock and to get stone. Right, you don't have any ammo at the moment. Oh, goodness gracious me! Come on, come on. We need to get ammo. We need to get ammo to this turret over here. It's gonna happen. Don't worry. That's good. That's good. We might take a little bit of damage, but that's that's fine. Yeah, this house in the middle here is hugely problematic. That's the that's the big one. Food hasn't been satisfied. We'll we'll get the food. Don't worry. We've probably got a fruit tree around here somewhere. Yeah, let's get a fruit tree over there. And let's get you up there. Brilliant. Field. Love to get a field. There we go. We can get that set up. So that's going to satisfy our food need. It's going to satisfy our water need. Uh, it's obviously kind of problematic. What, 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 what are we waiting here? Cool. Um, yeah, it's also slightly problematic in the fact that we have got a limited, very, very limited amount of space to, to build here. Probably want to trash that tower. Uh, almost certainly want to get additional people. There we go. Produce additional people. I'll produce additional dwarves. And we'll get a workshop over here. Set that as an output. Excellent. Set that as an output over there. We'll get an additional storage. And we'll set that up. It's, it's a little bit messy because I'm kind of, you know, trying to build as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, both in order to demonstrate what's going on. Uh, but also just because I kind of need to. So I'm going to probably be upgrading one of these towers pretty soon. 
The point is, is that I need to be, I need to be moving faster than, than I'm currently doing because I'm trying to explain everything as I, as I go. Uh, but on the whole, though, everything's pretty good. A 33% production increase. Beer is, beer is what's next. Yeah, so you're going to attack the house here, aren't you? Right, well, that's annoying. There we go. Well, we'll upgrade that turret and we'll repair you. Just costs wood to repair, so, you know, repairs are not a big deal. We're quite happy to... Quite happy to deal with that. There we go. Fantastic. And we'll set dwarves as the output there. Obviously, much preferable much more preferable to get uh, to get other stuff i can get i can get spiked walls yeah i really should get spiked walls i should i should go big on the whole spiked wall situation and in fact i'd quite like to get some additional wood set up over there great yeah so it's a little bit messy it looks it looks kind of awful but i'm kind of okay with that Kind of okay with that. Let's see where the enemies are going to come from, and let's see if we can try and build up a little bit of spiked walled infrastructure, sort of around the around the place. Ten seconds until the next wave, till the next wave hits. But this is good. I mean, we've got production of planks. We've got you know a really really decent amount of wood production. Loads and loads of wood production. In fact, plank production is okay. Stone production is limited, but we can actually just. There we go. We can actually get that set up. That's relatively easy for us to deal with. Uh, spiked walls. There we go. We'll do that. And then we'll get some bracing walls on the inside. Okay, that's fine. I guess we won't. You're going to decide to walk all the way around here. That's fine if you want to do that. You're going to continue to walk all the way around here. Literally just out of range. That is so unbelievably annoying. And are you going to walk within range there? You're just, just beyond a joke, isn't it? What a, what a ridiculous situation. Right, upgrade that house. Get it repaired. Get it repaired whilst we wait for the dwarves to, to deal with this. This is, this is not a situation that we're happy with, I don't think. You. You absolute jerk. You're going to go and attack my field, aren't you? Well, dwarves are literally throwing their bodies against against this building here um, to defend to defend the building. Come on. Just There we go. Just just attack one of the turrets. Attack one of the turrets instead of instead of not doing that. Uh, right, I would like to get an additional storage facility, storage facility that will enable us to do some form of, some form of wheat harvest. All right, you're going to attack over here. See, I, I feel like this, uh, it needs to be, it needs to be fixed somewhat. I, I feel like the rooting of the, uh, the rooting of the trolls is just, is just weird. I mean... I, I don't know. They, they really... If there is a single gap in the... Uh, if there is a single gap in the line, they absolutely love going for it. They really, really, really do. Uh, right. What else have we got here? They're still, still trying to get through. So, iron ore. Is there coal ore? There is coal ore over here. Which I think I will... Don't attack my coal facility, please. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try making like a little, uh, like a little outcropping here. And honestly, if one dwarf, if if one dwarf, if one um, if one of these guys wants to continue to sort of noodle around, absolutely happy to help accommodate that. Okay, there we go. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up a brand new house over here. This is going to have state-of-the-art defenses. There we go. We're going to create a furnace over here. Coal is going to come down from there. That's going to go over to there. Iron ore is going to be the input. That's going to give us... That's going to give us that. What was the recipe for a club again? In the workshop? Uh, what are... Our needs are grains. Okay, nice. We've, we're, we're, we're getting... We're getting grains. Don't worry. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Workshop, a club was wood plus iron. Okay. Wood. And then a workshop, which we'll build just down here. And link it up. And I think we need to have a storage, right? Building has been destroyed. Oh, was that the field? Oh, for goodness sake. Right. You are just... You're such a jerk. You're such a flipping jerk. What do we need in order to get this upgraded? We need, we need a bunch more stone. We need a bunch more stone. Yeah, we actually don't have any stone income at all yet. Let's um let's sort that out. I'm just kind of ignoring you. If you want to destroy the workshop, then then that's fine. Go right ahead. I can build a new one. I can build a new one quickly, and it's gonna be less annoying than whatever the nonsense that I have to deal with from you is. Okay. That's gonna give us some some additional stone. That's really, really important. Do I want to repair this? 50 wood. Uh honestly, it's just not worth it. Probably. We'll just wait until you destroy it. Yeah. Just please. Just uh, for goodness sake. It's more annoying than it is anything else. Because I just... I cannot do anything about this. Like, you you will have to walk within range of a, of a turret here. So just just do it. Just 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 you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm I'm focused on this area up here, which is what's important, right? Uh, that's gonna be stone, iron, great. Iron's gonna come down here, into that over there. This is gonna go down here, and that's gonna get a club. Okay, you're finally gonna die. You're finally, finally, finally gonna die. That makes me very very happy. But yeah, it, it does feel like the um, it does feel like there's a lot of pretty inefficient pretty inefficient buildings here because it's like what's the point of building walls if they just smash through them and then they end up just attacking the towers instead it's like you know not exactly ideal uh actually storage can go over there delete this that can be to the storage that can be there can we store clubs i think we should be able to store clubs right New enemies detected. We better we better be ready here. Are we getting clubs? I think we need to get I think we need to get stone for the meantime. We got 23 dwarves here, so we should be ready. We should be ready for this. Okay, the main architect engineer of this tribe has been thinking about it for a month. If we stack stones on stones, we'll have a stone wall. Amazing. What a thought. Okay, and you're not even going to attack my outcrop over here. Well, that's somewhat surprising, I must say. Well, at least you're going, you're going to attack an area that is actually defended and can defend itself. That's good. So the house is gonna is gonna deal with the dwarves. We're gonna dispatch dwarves to the location, and then we've also got the stones coming in here. So yeah, the defensive sort of structure of this is probably the most uh, challenging to sort of orchestrate, all things considered. Uh, oh yeah, you need to have a to have one of those. Uh, let's get this house upgraded. There we go. This is this is doing it. It's doing it. We're 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 making all the stuff that we need to make, which is great. It's just taking, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get all the clubs set up. And then three out of three clubs. Can we maybe not store them? We might not be able to store them in the uh, in the facility. Right, we do need a little bit more, we need a little bit more rock. Let's get, get a little bit more rock. Okay. Okay, you don't look like you want to come over here. Again, I'm really not sure of the rationale there. You just want to continue to batter on this house. Well, enjoy enjoy a stone to the face, amigo. Maybe it'd be better if you got a dwarf to the face. Either either way, we can we can afford to repair this. We actually have like a lot of wood income, so we can we can deal with a lot of repairs. 
the issue just really is that we need to get we need to roll out our best technology to the to the areas you know and also we need to we need to increase our population because our population is being constantly damaged by the fact that we have uh we've got far too many dwarves and actually we don't have enough water we don't have enough water uh inputs yeah i'll build a i'll build a new one of those actually there we go get that all repaired brilliant okay maybe i should have learned my lesson and maybe i should just be building a new tower here i mean maybe it's just that simple honestly right get that uh can i get clubs let's get clubs over there sure no enemies detected they're gonna want to come from the same direction no doubt let's get clubs over here instead of dwarves good i mean we do get three clubs so i mean like that's that's a you know pretty pretty significant pretty significant result this tower is gonna be this tower is gonna be pretty noteworthy i think Okay, also we need to get additional water. I was gonna sort additional water. There we go, nice. Does seem like they are aggroed to the right location. But you're gonna try and cut through here. Again, no idea why. Uh, but that's fine. Let's get let's get a new let's get a new club shaped input and let's get this upgraded so that you can take out the uh, take out the enemy over there. This is looking good. This is looking good. This is feeling good. This is feeling grand. Okay. Enjoy the long-range clubs that are going to be smashed over there. Can we can we have apples as an output? Fruits are, yeah, completely useless. As you would entirely expect, fruits are completely useless. They have no range and they're they're basically not even worth using unless it's a it's a flipping emergency. Okay. There we go. Good. And a singular bit of stone. Nice. We should probably have stone as like a backup, but I mean honestly, as long as we got the clubs, that's pretty that's pretty flipping good. Either way, this is all looking really, really nice. Very, very happy with that. Uh yeah, amazing. Really, really, really amazing. This is a this is a pretty busy setup for us, but it it, it is kind of working. Uh, did I build that extra house? Yeah, I did. Let's build. Let's build that to over there, and let's build... I can't even see where it is now, but... Let's upgrade this. Upgrade this again. Upgrade this, upgrade this. So now what we've got is we've got really, really, really fast production. In fact, we'll upgrade this storage. We've got really, really fast production of water. We need a little bit of additional water in order to make it all sort of work. But once we've sorted out water, we should be, we should be fine for food. Okay, again. Not sure why the dwarves want to come this way. Can I upgrade you? Ah! You got my... You got my workshop. You got my workshop. Hey, look, I actually think... You know what? <laughs> maybe on the brink of... Maybe on the brink of absolute defeat. Uh, regardless of the case, uh, we've actually run our time. Uh, this is... This is a great little game. I think it needs a little bit of tweaking, honestly. The the trolls are a little bit funky, uh, the, the sort of way that they work. Uh, the game is a little bit fast-paced for me. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just, uh, just having a little bit of a slow brain. Uh, but some really, really nice concepts. Really, really interesting. Kind of dig it. Kind of uh, really, really kind of dig the concept. Um, great little attempt at, a, at an automation sort of base builder. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. I'll catch you next time. Bye.